My name is Katie White and I'm a master's student at UBC Okanagan in Kelowna. We're standing here in the North Okanagan with this gopher snake. Great Basin gopher snakes are an integral part of our native BC ecosystems. Here in southern BC, they're the largest snake. They're constrictors. And as you can see, this one's quite content to simply wrap around my arm. If you look closer, you can see they've got a pale tan background with darker brown blotches on their backs and then a pale yellow belly. On their head, they've got bands running between their eyes, down to their chin, and straight down from their eyes. This is characteristic of gopher snakes. Now often people confuse gopher snakes uh, for rattlesnakes. But gopher snakes have a tapered tail that comes to a point. They don't have a rattle on their tail. Great Basin gopher snakes are federally listed as threatened by Kasiwik, and in BC they're blue listed. These designations are due to the fact that habitat conversion is destroying a lot of the habitats that gopher snakes require to live in. So things like human development of land for agriculture, housing, or vineyards is destroying the habitat that they need before we even really know what sorts of habitats the gopher snakes need to survive in, since not a lot of work has been done in BC on gopher snakes. Now my master's is looking at habitat use and movement patterns of the Great Basin gopher snake. I'm using radio telemetry to track several gopher snakes um, at multiple sites throughout the Okanagan for several years to determine movement patterns and habitat selection. I'm going to be able to determine things such as what sorts of habitats gopher snakes avoid, what sorts of habitats they use a lot, and what sorts they use at the same proportion to their availability in the surrounding landscape. I'm tracking gopher snakes using surgically implanted radio transmitters that are put into their body cavity by a vet down near Soyuz. The, the transmitters are about the size of a AA battery with a wire running out of them, and they enable me to go in the field with my equipment here and track the gopher snakes. Now tumbleweed is off in this field. You can hear the beeps that way, but if I point the antenna this way, you can't really hear anything at all. So I can tell it tumbleweeds that way. When I get closer to the snakes, my equipment is so sensitive that it allows me to determine exactly where the snakes are underground. So I could point it here, there, over there, and tell it tumbleweed was definitely under the ground here. With the movement pattern data, I'll be able to determine whether males move more than females, whether snakes reuse the same spots year after year, and other things such as whether um, snakes move at different rates during different times of the year. Hopefully this work will provide a basis for better habitat management guidelines um, to create a better protected area in which gopher snakes can continue to survive. Snakes are often persecuted by humans, and unjustly so in my, my eyes. They're a natural part of our ecosystems, and without them, we'd lose a vital part 